Um, so, I'm a little bit lost for words right now. Like, <laughs> when the clock hit 7 and I knew the thank you celebration news was dropping for part 2, I was like super hyped up, right? I was ready to like go in and be like, yo guys, what's up? Part 2 of the thank you celebration is here. And then I popped into the news and um, suddenly all my hype is gone, you know? Um, I'm sure for those of you that already saw what's going on, um, you probably share the same sentiment, you probably feel the same way, and uh, this is a huge disappointment, guys. It really is, especially compared to last year, and uh, <laughs> let's just get into it. You know what? I, I there's no more setup that's required let's just get into it so part two of the thank you celebration is officially here for global and uh part one was awesome obviously with the dual dokkan fest and all that good stuff um and i was expecting a lot of good stuff for part two especially based on last year's thank you celebration and um starting from the top here of course we still have the login bonus we do have some new missions that we can get free stones from um, this Dragonstone sale is basically a continuation. It's not really a new sale from what I can tell. As you can see, it's still from November 11th to, to uh, December 8th. And the only addition from what I can tell is that now we can get 5 stones for the cost of 1 every single day. So it's not like any new packs are added from what... Uh, at, le at least based on my understanding, you know what I mean? So uh, unless they're refreshing these, which I don't think is the case. So... Um, from my understanding, like I said, I could be wrong, but from my understanding, it's going to be the same sale. So if you already bought them, then you can't buy them again. And the only new thing is the five stones for the price of one. And uh, I did say, I did say multiple times in multiple videos that I thought there was going to be a legendary summon, right? And uh, my hopes were, or at least I was expecting the Kale and Khalifla banner. And uh, we got some news recently. Uh, or some leaks, I guess, that the uh, girl power, no, not girl power, uh, <laughs> what's it called? The uh, Magical Girls story event, you know, the Rebrianne story event was coming back. Obviously, that wasn't, you know, a confirmation that the LR Kaelin Khalifa banner was coming. It's just that we had some signs, right? So I was expecting that, or at least hoping for it. And uh, what we ended up getting was this top legendary summon. So top legendary summon basically means uh, two featured LRs. And while these LRs are good, like LR Goku Black is actually excellent. He's still amazing, he still hits extremely hard, he heals, he can tank, uh, at least somewhat. And uh, very good unit obviously, but he's he is like really really old, right? And then there's Trunks and Mai, which uh, as good as they are still, not the most hype, right? I mean, <laughs> so no new LR, no Kaelin Khalifla. Um, instead we got this and then there's one other thing that's pretty uh, notable um, that's missing which is the Tanabata banner um, which I talked about quite a bit in previous videos and uh, I was expecting it because we got it last year right so the Tanabata celebration on JP uh, happens I think around is it April? I don't remember exactly, but you know, they have the Tanabata celebration every year and last year with the LR Vegito and LR Gogeta we got the Tanabata banner um, for our thank you celebration. So, I mean, <laughs> I 100% expected, 100% expected for us to get that Tanabata banner for this year with the LR Super Saiyan 4s as well as the LR GoBros featured. And it's just, it's just not here, guys. It's just the only banner we're getting is this top legendary summon with two, uh, well, one very old LR and then one old ish LR, like, I guess somewhat new, not, not. <sighs> I'm just disappointed guys and uh, I also feel really bad because I feel like I got a lot of people's hopes up so for anybody that was expecting that Tanabata banner with the LR Super Saiyan 4s, um, I apologize. I really do. Like I'm really sorry guys. I <laughs> I was so sure. I was so sure we were going to get it and we're just not. We're, we're, just, we're just not. Like <laughs> there's nothing else I can say. I was wrong. I apologize. Um, I had every reason to believe, I think 95% of people believed that we were going to get it and it's not just like random, it wasn't a random guess, it was based on, you know, the past, right? Like what we got in, in for the previous celebration. So 
Uh, anyways, I was wrong. I'm sorry, um, but it sucks. It really does. This banner is not very hype either, so uh, I, I'm probably gonna skip it. Uh, I would recommend most people probably to skip it as well, because uh, it, it, it's older LRs and yeah, it's not that great. Um, next up is thank you special friend summon. So uh, from the friend summon, we're not getting a new LR, which what which is when I first saw that I was like maybe new friend LR that'd be kind of crazy, right? Maybe global first. Instead, it's just a uh, bonus for doing friend summons. So you can get Elder Kai's um, as a bonus item. It's, it's a it's a chance. It's basically RNG. You're not guaranteed a <laughs> Elder Kai every single time, but you have a chance of getting Elder Kai when you do a friend summon. And um, I guess if you haven't, you know, completed your LR Salmon or LR Hercule um, or LR Androids, then this is a good opportunity to get some extra Kai's along the way. Uh, next up is the Fizz Goku Black Extreme Z Awakening and Extreme Z Battle, which we have known about, and uh, he is excellent. He is really, really good, uh, especially on Global. Oh, go away news. And, um, you know, that's, that, that's a good thing. That's obviously... Kind of exciting, but uh, definitely does not make up for the lack of the thank you Tanabata banner that a lot of people were expecting. I was fully expecting. Uh, we have a Goku's Family category banner. We have the packs for the Pilaf's Trove. We have the actual event itself, which is dropping uh, basically tonight or tomorrow morning, depending on your time zone. For me, it's going to be tomorrow morning. And uh, we have new stages of the Broly event, which is going to bring in the base form STR Gogeta. Uh, so that's kind of cool, um, and also this one, uh, the uh, AGL Broly Extreme Z Awakening is also back after being taken away for maintenance or something, I guess. And uh, you can get the medals from here to do to Extreme Z Awaken, the base Gogeta from the uh, Broly story event from the new stages. And uh, of course the Magical Girls uh, event is back, the Goku and Friends uh, Radish event is back, the Raditz event is back. Um, the, I just realized it's the Radish event and then the uh, Raditz event. Kind of funny, I guess. Not really. I'm, I'm sad, guys. I really, I'm, I'm a little bit depressed right now going through this news. I'm not sure if you can tell. I'm trying to be positive, trying to be happy, but um, I'm disappointed. I really am. Anyways, uh, Tree of Might event is back. And uh, what else? We have the Bulma's, uh, Genius Bulma's Battle Prep for support items. Really great for farming Ghost Ushers and King Yemmas and... Uh, Icaruses and so on and so forth and then we have the 31st world tournament with a, a new Android 17 I believe so I think I, I don't th I think this is a global like a new one for global I don't think JP has received this one yet I could be wrong uh, maybe I missed it but I think he's new because I haven't seen this art before so it might be a brand new 17 for this world tournament and uh, also we have the guaranteed SSR banner for uh, the, basically a ticket banner for the world tournament. And uh, that's starting on December 5th, so about a week and a half away. And then world, su world tournament support pack, uh, rabbit mob event, and also the adventure of gratitude. And those are all the new events for part two of the thank you celebration. I gotta say extremely, extremely disappointing, um, very underwhelming for... Uh, what, what, what I was expecting and also like what we had last year, I think. Um, I, I, I thought there'd be more. I thought there would be more. Uh, let's see what else there is. So uh, we also have some special missions. Um, so for part two of the celebration, uh, the new missions can give us up to one, so one stone a day, just like before. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten more stones from the uh, part two missions for something like, I don't know, 20 more stones overall, including the dailies. And, um, I, 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 I think that's it. I, I think that's it. That's, that's everything that we still have the login bonus every, obviously two to two stones a day. Um, but nothing else really. Uh, I put out a video video earlier today doing like extra summons on the uh, Zamasu uh, banner, right? Because I was like, I kind of want to do one more round, I want to pull a dupe of Zamasu, and then I was like, this is really stupid. But after seeing the part 2 stuff, I gotta say, um, I, I, I don't regret it. Uh, I think that it was actually a good choice to do, to get in one more round of discounted multis before the Zamasu banner went away because 
I'm not gonna be spending many, if if any at all, <laughs> stones for part two because I just that that banner doesn't do it for me, man. I don't actually have the uh, trunks in my, but I don't even feel like it's worth going to that banner for them. Um, I might do a couple multis, maybe like three multis for a video, and that's pretty much it. Um, I, I, okay, I guess the one one positive takeaway from this from this disappointment of a second part is that um, we can now save stones, right? If you want to save stones for something in the future, like the STR cooler or the int future Gohan or like a step up banner for New Year's, which at this point I don't even know if, if, if that's going to happen anymore because um, of, of, of this, right? Like I, I was fully expecting a step up banner and now I'm not really so sure. So, and the images won't even load, of course. Makes sense. I mean, just more disappointment. More disappointment. But yeah, uh, it's a good opportunity, guys, to definitely save as many stones as you possibly can for the next big thing on uh, Global. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's it. I guess that's, that's going to do it for the video. Like I said, for anybody who um, got their hopes up because of my videos, talking about, like, some like, speculating and all that stuff, um... I'm sorry. I apologize. Like I, I really didn't think things would turn out this way, and I, I just, I just thought there would be more, guys. I just thought there'd be more. I thought there'd be something more exciting than just a a LR banner with two old LRs and you know some Elder Kai's for you know special friend summoned and. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, uh, at least we have Gogeta, uh, the base Gogeta. At least we have the Extreme Z Awakening for the Fizz Goku Black, who is excellent. Don't get me wrong, that is very great. <sighs> Tough day. Tough video. Anyways, guys, hope you uh, aren't too upset. Hopefully you... Um, I don't know, have a good day and for, for something else outside of Dokkan, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video, or at least didn't hate it. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video or liked the video in some way, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.